Hey, baby, Sunshine Goddess 333, hot your girl, guys. Yes, baby, hit that notification button down below so you're notified when I post my videos. Readings, writings, rituals. Spiritual consultation, no job too smart. I literally do it also. Email me, sunshinegoddess333 at gmail.com. Lions Gate, baby. So we have a few portals um, opening in this season. But let's talk about the end of Lions Gate is today. So I did a live reading and I called the number 77. I mean, I called the number 9494 in my last reading and I hit the chat thing and I couldn't see if anyone looked it up. Uh, and, and, and that reading was anything built on faulty foundations will crumble. Well, the meaning of 9494 is letting unstable situations go in your life that don't serve you no more. Like the divine is through, they're done, they're over it, they're ready for the new beginning. So when it comes to love, lion's gate's over, you one would know, well, spirit, I want to know about my love life, you know, what's changed for me in the midst of this lion's gate, and so let's check it out, okay? So energy's energy. If it resonates, they email me, guys, sunshinegoddess333 at gmail.com, and we could do a reading. Anything you need spiritually, I could, I could help you. We could try to figure it out together, okay? The Lord is good to all, and his loving kindness are all over his works. So I feel like somebody's coming into you in your life with like a little bit of more fun, flirty energy. I feel like they're more lighthearted. It's giving me a more lighthearted energy where they're seeing this relationship connection as for what it is. And and in reference to like, is this possibly a spiritual connection? Look at King of Swords here at the top of the deck. So somebody's learned a valuable lesson when it comes to this relationship, this connection, and being a better person. Somebody also knows that you're very well capable of being with other people as well. We saw the orb that goes by, so that's very important. You also have loved ones that are watching over this relationship, this connection. So this is a very specific part of the reading, and I'll, I'll, I'll do that as a separate reading. If someone that you were in love with passed away, they're working overtime right now, and I meant relationship, romantic, okay? They're working overtime right now to be able to, you know, give you the love that you desire, Okay, really give you love and desire. Third party situations are closing. Yeah, look at this. Third party gates close. So this person, this energy, these purple, those those energies, the color purple is significant. They're done with third party situations. It's not the right time. They may have to, they may have grown to an energy where they told this third party, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Yeah, look at illusion. What's real and what's not. The Lord is good to all. And his loving kindness are all over their works. Somebody's really growing spiritually and they're realizing that they've been dealing with a bunch of delusional people. Delusional situations. Things that didn't serve them. And they're really closed off to third parties. So yes, I love the fact that this Lion's Gate has showed this person that third parties aren't for, you know, third party. You know, I, they rather choose their soulmate than a third party. And taking this mask off. So again, this person, I feel like it was easier. Hey, they were more comfortable with the third party. Being in the third party situation was just easier. It was comfortability. It was really no love there. And I feel like once this person decided to grow spiritually, that's when their their the things have changed for them. Yeah, all of a sudden they grew spiritually and they, they didn't like that. That person didn't align with them. Their values, their morals. It's almost like they were like disgusted with this third party. Like, I don't want to be with this third party situation anymore. Somebody's over that. My card shuffled different in the car. Somebody's over that. Yeah. Love struck with Cupid's arrow. I feel like this person, yeah, look at they want to come in with a new life for you. Spirit baby energy. So if you don't want to get pregnant, be careful. Spirit baby energy. Okay, so Spirit, let's clarify this new life. So we know during this Lionsgate energy, this person said, you know, with the third party situations, I'm done. I'm ready to start a new beginning in love. Teach me how to love. Somebody's saying they want you to teach them how to love collective. This person's energy, I guess they thought love was where the karmic was or low vibration, but that's not love. They really want you to come and teach them how to love. Big changes. Somebody wants to have a conversation with you as well. This person's saying, I know you belong with me. I know being on a journey with you is something that I want to do. Spirit, clarify this illusion energy, getting out of this low vibrational karmic energy. It's like this karmic person told them or showed them multiple ways and reasons of why they're not for them. Okay, even maybe as far as uh, financially taking from this divine feminine masculine. But, you know, this person's like, they've tried and they tried and they tried and they tried. They tried all different view routes, views, avenues, different ways, back way, trying. Nothing got through this karmic. And or 
this karmic was trying so hard for this person and they're realizing that's not where i want to go spirit clarify this cupid energy that's not where i want to be but when you love someone you don't treat them bad this person's looking out for you you may be single sexy and free i'm telling you if you are capable of having other people duh anyone but what i'm saying is if you are single sexy and sex in the city free you know you're not tied down to anyone you're not with anyone this person's like well the whole time i was over here my person stay committed to taking care of their self so again if you're working out exercising something about meals is it significant here this person just sees you really taking care of yourself and doing you and in that energy, and when I say do you, I don't in reference mean another person, just doing what makes you happy. Fulfill yourself. This person is like this. You're like a little kid on the playground, right? That doesn't need the friends to play. Like you go outside, you're just excited to be out there if you were with your friends or if you weren't okay so the number 93 93 just drove by so we'll have to look that up but just as as excited you know they see you thriving in this energy where you're content you're happy by yourself versus this other situations other people where they like lose their mind when they're not with with this person or you know they're just used to people chasing them and the fact that you are in this energy where you're like all right well i'm gonna be you chose to be happy or not whether this person was around in your life you said listen if you're gonna be with me fine I, I, i'm open to this relationship i'm open to make it working working out i'm open to being in a family relationship with you i'm open to working it out i'm open to happy family life but this is two of wands you know that if it doesn't happen with you, I'm still open to the divine sending me another relationship, a connection. And I feel like this person's like, no, I want to be the one that's going to be with you. I want to be with you, not no one else. And they think about that all the time. What would happen if my person moves on? See, because they know the love that they don't give you, you truly deserve. So what this Lion's Gate energy has done was made this person realize you're their true love. Okay, so they have realized you're their true love because if i don't write it down yeah i will forget which is good and they let go of these third-party toxic situations they let them go somebody really wants to birth a new a new relationship connection somebody really wants to go on love uh on a date night with you if you don't have any potential person and you're just like in your energy remember ruth went to gleaming the fields to owing them there's a huge prosperity abundance for those that are single and i'm like so count so we're we're not counting anyone out what the divine is honoring your truth living in your truth you're single because you chose that path not because you don't have to be because getting a man or a woman is the easiest thing in the world it's just getting one that's worth keeping and wants to be in a committed committed relationship and and kept by your love not by you by your love what keeps people in relationship connections is the way that they're treated if you have a dog and you treat it terrible and you don't feed it and you don't treat them right they're they're gonna run away you know you can go put it away somewhere they won't return but if you have a dog where you treat well you feed good you groom you take care of it you go put them somewhere far they're gonna come find home they're they're gonna find home so again i feel like however you've dealt with this person how you've handled them when they hurt you as bad as it may seem and you're like girl what but but as as they needed that they needed to know that you can be evil and mean and nasty all you want i don't have to i don't have to um match that energy i don't have to be in that same energy for you to get the the hint you could just take your dignity your integrity and your grace and walk away from those situations and in that energy they're like fine i'll go be somewhere where you know they were looking for the toxicity and realizing they didn't want it. it's almost like a full-blown circle okay so again if you don't have any prospects in your life or, or someone you're not waiting or uh you know someone you're not waiting for them to get their right together or return and not in vain and and sense of you're working on yourself until god aligns you with you want because you say waiting on yourself waiting for something everyone oh i'm not waiting for this like waiting for god okay we're not talking about literally a physical person you're waiting for god to say this is what i need you to do if you're waiting to be ordained and you're you know a new relationship is coming for you if you already wrote off a relationship 
or there's not one there to begin with, it's coming for you because you've done the work in this energy of being a single man or woman and being honorable to your body. You know, single doesn't mean that because you're single, people need to come and touch you. No, single means I'm working on myself until I'm aligned with the right person. You know, maybe you want to keep your options open. Whatever the case may be, if you're wanting a relationship connection part of this reading, it's there. Whether you have someone or not. Okay, so it's really coming. This new life, your life is transformed after this Lionsgate energy because nothing even matters at all. 91, 91, it'll never be the same. It'll never be the same. You've learned your lessons. They've learned their lessons with this 77 energy. I love it. Somebody's learned their lessons. So 311, 11, 3 are significant numbers that I'm hearing now. Yeah, whatever. It's like, it's literally like the divine's been telling me all morning. Just let them know that whatever they want, they're about to get. I'm like, you want me to say that okay so whatever you want in life you're about to get something about a birthday birthday party somebody's changed their way of thinking it's changing their life their wish fulfillments are coming in so if this was a negative nancy a person that all was negative all the time they've changed that energy to positive this person and when you change your way of thinking it legit literally changes your life so again with this 99 energy in the 77 energy, your manifestations are coming in well. This person's ending cycles, they know now who they want to be with and who they don't. What serves them and what, what, what doesn't. Besides being comfortable, comfortability doesn't help this person because they're realizing when they're comfortable, everything goes wrong. When they're uncomfortable, everything goes right. And in a sense of just, all right, well, you know, I'm going to try. I'm not going to really do. I'm going to try when when they know they're called to be something greater. Okay, so here's Spirit saying it gets greater later. Okay, so energy is energy. If it resonates, it resonates. Spirit keeps saying it gets greater later. Somebody thinks they're very beautiful, handsome. They're attracted to you. They're, they're really, really attracted to you. Like 333 three, three should be a significant number. You might be seeing that a lot. Very attracted to your light. It's almost like they get mesmerized by you. It's something about you and this person's energy that makes them feel really mesmerized. And they're like, I really am in love with this person. You are. And it's okay. I just feel like they've never been in love like this. And the way you, re and you reciprocate the love back to them, change. If this, what it feels like, if this, what love feels like, they're like, again, 777 feels like I just walked out of heaven. Feels like I, like God, you place this person on my lap for me to be with. And they're like, wow, you know, regretting not taking it for what it was with the grief card 555 five, five energy. You know, this person's like, you know what? I'm going to be better because nothing even matters at all. I'm going to be better feeling very guilty about the way they treated you 999 energy in the past closing up those karmic cycles because i feel like some of their abundance had a lot to do with them treating you shitty you cannot go around treating good people bad because you feel like it. it doesn't work that way okay it doesn't work that way the uh collective you won it's an energy here where you said you know what i'm gonna walk away from people place and situations that don't serve me that don't sit right with me that don't make me feel good five six seven and you did that and and that made this person realize because i feel like they just get whatever they want however they want whenever they want ego and pride but you're like no you won't get whatever you want however you want whenever you want it can't be like that 66 energy fast moving energy your boundaries and standards help this person realize what true love is love doesn't mean someone you get to walk all over someone and whatever they say do no love we are not to be used or be we're made to we're made to be loved and of love okay so this person wants to come in with an honest declaration of your love and you know they're a little afraid that you're in your queen of swords they're a little afraid of your clap back i just want to let you know i feel someone very hesitant but it's like now or never they're feeling like if i don't do it now i'll never be able to do it seal destiny affirmations this person says affirmations for you every day I love this seal destiny. They know that you are their true divine love, true divine counterpart. They know that. True divine counterpart. They know that. It's not a secret to them anymore. They just hate the way that they treated you in the past. Five of Cups. They hate the way that they treated you. They hate the way that they walked away from this. But, okay, 14, 14, they needed to learn a valuable lesson on their own. Shine bright like a diamond. I, I feel like before they were on board with this your light irritated their demons i'm not judging i'm just saying before they were really on board with this something about you irritated them and no and no okay yeah my choices i have options i could find someone better and whole time they never found anyone better than you 
okay so you are fun to be around this person says i wonder where my lines gate yeah let's do my line oh you're fun to be around let's we'll just keep that one there and i fantasize about you often deja vu energy like this person literally like like they just think about you so much look at intense energy they feel very intense you guys see the orb you saw it Woo, there's a little bit more there's a difference between orbs and um dust from the cards now orbs are thicker see the see the ones from the cards orbs are are slow moving energy okay so you see the orbs are big they just find they just find excuses to spirit if these are spirit if you're here or somebody's here come right to the front camera come right to the front everybody come to the front all right so let's see what we got here okay six 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 health wealth and abundance they don't see a life without i'd rather be with you babe they don't see a life without you okay look at true feelings they're ready to honor their true feelings it's been too long and i'm lost without you tell me what i'm gonna do said i've been needing you wanting you so they really want to be with this look astrology okay positive changes somebody may be watching astrology reading somebody may be studying astrology you know look at intuition 444 they want to come and give you a stable solidified oh look at grounded 777 energy they want to give you a stable connection a stable relationship connection i just feel like they real i just feel like they judge you i feel like they didn't get to know you very surface level if you were intimate with them kind of that's all they really cared about and then grew in love with you they identify with you but they didn't know why middle of the deck you are my first true love you were always in my dream so i so god will god will honor your heart you know god will honor your heart if you want something bad enough god will god will show you okay i didn't mean to hurt you so again this person knows that they hurt you in the past but they didn't they didn't mean to and it's not that they didn't mean to they just thought that it would be better i just you can't go around treating good people bad for no reason because you feel like it it just doesn't work like that these these are emitting a lot of a lot of things look at let's work together you're amazing what do we have at the top of the deck you are royalty. So they want to come and treat you like royalty. Again, they feel like they've had a past life relationship connection with you in the past. Okay, so let's get some soulmate messages for you guys. All right, soulmate messages. 9-11. Now the cards are gone. Now the cards are gone. And look at all... Orbs. The cards are gone. Okay, let's see what we got here let go of inhibitions be creative and allow your imagination to run wild your love life will transform in ways you never thought possible because they were trying to control the who what when where why how aspects of the relationship connection and spirit said let go of thinking you can control this and just be free and wild be free with it go wild baby they hear spirits and go wild okay i surrender yes that's what we need i surrender all negative beliefs that no longer serve me and replace them with loving thoughts and intentions from this moment on i will listen only to the voice of love your love is an endless source of inspiration i'm gonna start calling people out on their shit that's what i'm gonna do spirit just told me right now that's how you're, how that's how i'm gonna solve a lot of issues and with grace though not like how i, I haven't in before but i will you are who you are because of your history. All of it has helped you grow into love and wisdom. Okay, so again, this person picking third party situations, finances, worldly things, material, they needed the lesson. So what is happening to them after Lionsgate? They've learned that you are their true love, true divine counterpart. Every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past and forgive anything that needs to be forgiven. Maybe you and them, you or them, you know, to forgive those situations. So my love cards. Okay, again, top of the deck, divine union. And I, look at love language. They want to come and love you the way that you want to be loved, not the way that they think they should love you. That was an issue there. 9-11 on the clock, that was the issue. It was 1911. Explore, getting to know each other. Take a ride and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts they may act like they knew you but this person wants to know you deep deeper spirit say deeper surface level doesn't cut it for them anymore because they want to get inside your heart for real laughter 
okay the laugh share between soulmates warms the spirit in a way no code could ever so they really look at you as like you know maybe you're fun to be around again it says you're fun to be around and they took the relationship so serious that they not even ruined the friendship friendship aspect of it but took all the seriousness out of it okay safe place there's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you're protected by your partner's love again Dwayne and Whitley they want you to know that it's safe I'm here to support you. I'll be the support that you need mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. But let me start in an emotional way so you can open up. They just want you to be able to open up. Okay, now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings. And they want to know, like, how do you feel about the relationship connection? We know what is something that you want to change. You know, they don't want you to look at them in a light like if they were how they were before. So someone's like, hey, I've changed. Can you give me some time? Look at emotions, empathy. I'm sorry you had to feel this way. You know, can you give me some time to show you that I can be the man or woman that you were giving me a chance to be? That's what, that's what they're asking. Can you give them a chance to be the man or woman, seal destiny? They know that you two are supposed to be together. They're saying, listen, there's, their higher self is saying, I'm ready to honor this journey and do what I have to do and do it the right way. Lots of spirit baby energy. I'm telling you guys, if you don't want children, be careful because they're going to get through. They're saying like, we're going to get through anyway. We're going to get through anyway. So, so, so please be careful. Be as careful as you can. Not only for children, but also um, sexually transmitted demons. You know, sometimes you make sure these people have good cleaning on them before they come from third party situations. Don't allow someone to come bring something in your life that you want to bring them to them in their life. Okay, so let's do Archangel messages for the collective and then we'll do some, um, I will do our, our ending prayer. And the Lord is good to all and his loving kindness are all over his works. This person knows they got to be a better person. Be a better person. They know they got to be a better man or a better woman. Because they know that their abundance was tied into them not being a good person. Okay? The lovers. There you go. Okay? Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. And this is how this person knows. Okay? Three of Gabriel. Prosperity arise from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Spirit's saying, get, go. Do what you need to do. You're, you're in your mind. You're thinking about it. We're, we're ordaining your steps. You got this. Go ahead and make the move and the gesture towards your person. Okay, six of Ariel. 66 again. If you guys go look at my community board, the rainbow... I saw that exit 66, health, wealth, and abundance, solidifying a lot of these twin flame soulmate relationships, connections are in an elevation period, okay? Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, act of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. Again, this person learned to give. I feel like they're not as selfish as they used to be with the moon card. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. That's all the divine's asking this person. Listen, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You got to follow what I'm doing. You listen to your intuition. God is not a God of cares or confusion. In the moment you feel some of these things, it's not from him. Okay, face your fears and grow stronger, which just signifies to me that this person's really getting downloads, really getting downloads. Stand up for what you believe in. The person that, it's just giving me an energy where the person that didn't fight for the love is now getting ready to fight, okay? Claim your personal power. I love you guys, Sunshine Goddess crew. Energy's energy. If it resonates, it resonates. Keep your head up and your close to God. Let's do this message here. Let's see what we got here. Okay? Be on guard. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous and be strong. First Corinthians 16, 13. I kept seeing 136, 163 the whole time. So be on guard. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Stand firm in faith. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for where you want to go for. Be courageous. You have what it takes and be strong. Don't give up, okay? If you knew every day you couldn't fail, you would not give up. I love you guys, Sunshine Guys crew. Keep your head up in your heart close, God. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys at my midday mix or my next read. Whatever comes first. Mwah.